Nino, the restaurant's named after you. What's your role? The, the person that's always been in charge was my dad. And then when, when he developed his Alzheimer's, I stepped up in this business. Wow. What do you mean? I, I get here early. I, I do uh, the remedial things as janitorial, Good. vacuuming, cleaning of all these plates, and cleaning the restrooms, scrubbing the toilets, washing the patio. That's just from 8 until about 4, maybe. Weekends, usually, I'll come in for uh, extensive cleaning. Sounds like you do a lot of cleaning. Cleaning? What are you talking about? The restaurant is a mess. <laughs> Take away the cleaning. What else do you do? Karina, um, help me out. There's no key person. There's no one really directing the kitchen on how the portion should be, how the quality needs to be consistent. You know, you need to be working in the kitchen. When I worked here I, and Mike worked here, we jumped in the kitchen. They don't want me in there. Who? The chefs. The chefs? They're very adamant about uh, uh, keeping that kitchen to themselves. It sounds like you put over a barrel now. It's like everybody's kind of running the restaurant. I thought Nino was running it. <laughs> not really, no. That's not true. But Nino's here. But Nino isn't here. He's here at lunch. So he doesn't run dinner. Are you here for dinner? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not here. Lunch and dinner. It's something my mom and I are constantly frustrated so, with. Nino's doing everything half-assed. And so Mike and I have to come in, help the family. Wow, I mean, it <laughs> doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. He irritates the crap out of me. He spends a lot of time sitting down with customers. I mean, not just visiting, promoting the business, sitting down and talking for long periods of time in the middle of lunch. And he's the only restaurant manager I think you'll find anywhere that has lunch at lunchtime. He spends a lot of time in the office watching TV. This is not even true. He's not it's here. Not at, he's not here at 8 in the morning when I get here. Why would I come here at 8 That's in the morning? That's a fantasy. To watch TV. The television here is 40 years old, and I have uh, high def at home with all the all the channels I need. Why wouldn't I just stay there? So I get you here. Tell at people eight. you're working because nobody's here, so you can say whatever you're doing, right? Stretching the truth. It is not. <laughs> My brother never tells the truth. Ah, so Coming a... from a pathological liar, I take I... that as a compliment. He thinks I'm, I'm some kind of nut because I, I, I'm in a recovery program. Nothing but to I'm do not. With that. It has and nothing I... to do with that. You're just he, a liar. He, he thinks we're just, all like, living in a fantasy world, according I never to him. No. I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. My honest feeling it is he doesn't do crap here. He does a lot of sick. I'm talking. He makes everybody believe he does crap. Just like last night, he ran up to every table and said, hello, my name's Nino. That's not true. Nino, please. Would you let me talk? Mr. O was talking. I see that all the time. And that's why I kind of stay back from here, because I love this damn restaurant. And to see it just being Run down drives me freaking crazy. To my opinion, he doesn't do crap. My mom will admit it, my dad will admit it, my sister will admit it, that I will come out and say it passionately. Doesn't do crap. So here we actually have the salmon. Bloody hell. Yeah. That's the salmon. <laughs> That's the salmon. <laughs> And why does the salmon go in a pinwheel? I don't... I don't know. Thank you. I mean, honestly, look at that plate. I mean, little balls of hush puppies, massive wedge of cornbread that looks like a door opener, and a pinwheel that fits perfectly, you know, on the side of my tomato. Wow. That is fucking disgusting. Pinwheel. Yeah, I feel like doing a cartwheel out of here. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, he's banging his hands on his head. That's really bad. Is he allergic to salt? No. There's no seasoning on there whatsoever. Aged balsamic vinegar, macerated with brown sugar on salmon, needs to be backed up with salt. Shall I take no. it away? Please, yeah, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Holy crap. OK. He did not like this. He thinks that the balsamic, the reduction, needs to be backed up with salt. Hmm. He wants to know the idea between the pinwheel of the salmon. He doesn't understand it. <laughs> I think it's interesting. I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a cool presentation on the plate. I like it. OK. Way to stand up for your food, Reese. Way to stand up for your food. But I do. I like that. That's one of my favorite things on our menu, is that presentation of the salmon. What can you do?
Oh, shit. Here he comes. Introduce me to the team. This is Jeff. Jeff. Hi. Dennis. Dennis. Yep. And this is Rocky. Right. I feel like I've just gone 12 rounds with you, let me tell you. Let me read you something. Prohibition Grill Southern Cuisine. Chef Rocky strives for quality and freshness. Correct. Freshness? The soup from last week that was called Soup of the Day. Gloopy, under-seasoned. It wasn't even hot. It was just hideous. Big fan of that soup. Big fan of the soup. What I've just eaten has been an embarrassment. Pan-fried oysters, just solid cornmeal with no seasoning. It needs some form of seasoning. I didn't know that. You don't even know what soup of the day is. I told you about the pinwheel of salmon. Can you go and get me a pinwheel? Yes. Hurry up, please. Chef Ramsey, I like the pinwheel. I'm not asking you like it. Oh. You give your food 10 out of 10, so right. me talking to you about food, it's like, yeah, I'm talking to a brick wall behind you. Right. I liked it. I thought it looked nice and kind of unique and different. Kind of unique and different? Yeah. <laughs> and how many strips do you get out of a salmon? 14. Like, until I just looked at it, I didn't even think this was so small. Right. And even the bloodline's on there as well. Nasty. Chef to chef. Have you any idea how bad that makes you look? On decisions about how food is prepared, I believe in what they do back there. That's their thing, especially Rocky. Come on. Color greens, overcooked, tasteless mush. I thought they tasted great. They and were you know overcooked, what? though. You knew they were overcooked. Have right. you any idea how fucking deluded you sound? What? How can something be fucking delicious and overcooked? There's no such thing. Man. Huh. Are customers that stupid? Are you? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. And you are. Guess so. You just sat there and staring at me like some big muscle head meatball. Fuck me. Aaron. What? Why do you smell with your crab with the K on the... Because it's not real, it's my crab meat. I didn't want anybody to get the misconception. It's artificial. Uh, guarantee no complaints on this. Guaranteed? That's a pretty bold statement. Excellent. Thank you, my darling. Wow, look at the size of that. That's a lot of crab. And you haven't told me about the K yet. Oh, he said... He wanted everybody to know that it wasn't real crab, it's artificial crab. So he spelled it with a K so there was no misconception. So it's fake crab meat mm -hmm. in a seafood restaurant on the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck me. Holy crap. Rubber, tasteless. That's going straight to the trash. Okay. Oh, my God. What's wrong? He hated it. Why? The fake crab was the number one reason. The omelet didn't go over well. No. Doesn't like the crab in there. I, I've never, I, that was already here. I didn't buy that stuff. I don't want to use frozen fish. It's not a product that I'm absolutely overly proud of. But at the same point, I'm held accountable for all the inventory that the owners have paid for. How's the food so far? Why are we serving fake crab in an omelet? I don't. He did that. You're the general manager. Why did you, <laughs> why did you laugh? I give the choice. Have you been drinking? No. The crab was shocking, embarrassing, and fake. It tastes disgusting. Have you tasted that crab? No, I'm extremely allergic to crab and shrimp, so no I crab can't in, even There's eat no it. crab in there. I understand, it's monkfish. So, oh, my god. I'll let you finish your meal. General manager, my ass. I'm being blamed. He thinks that I should be allowing him to do that. Or letting him letting serve him. those types of Correct. dishes? Well, this is fake crab. AJ is the general manager. He's supposed to oversee the food. And now I'm hoping and praying that Gordon says AJ is the one that's bleeding his business. OK, fish and chips. Certainly the best looking thing I've seen. Is that really rubbery? Is it frozen, the fish? I believe it's frozen. It is frozen. When you take a bite of that cod, it's almost like you've got a breaded condom in your mouth. Oof. He said it was rubbery, uh, too greasy, and it just said it tasted like a frozen cod, and obviously he hit it right on the button, so. This is the same recipe that we've used here forever, so I'm for change. I want the change. Good. Wow, this one is the salmon. salmon. Look at that. 
Thank you, sweet. Damn. I think just so sweet. The dressing is like honey, and so much of it. Absolutely disgusting. Quite possibly one of the worst salmon dishes I've ever eaten. Me neither. Can I like it? No. I don't like anything. That's one man's opinion. It's a pretty successful opinion, though. <laughs> Fry cook. Who's frying tonight? Real. Chapping. Chapping. Frying tonight. OK, great. Oysters. Wow. Chapping. They stay out like that? It should be, Tim. You are kidding me, aren't you? No, oh, no. I got mad the mom from the chicken. Wow. Check the chip. Uh, listen, I'm not that dumb now. Just put ice in there to check the temperature. Ah, no. Throw some ice and I'll check it. I want to look good. Right now, we got the first ticket. We got a grill grouper working. Yeah. Chappie, you fry the grouper with the beef? We blacken everything in the same pan, yes. What happens if the customer was a pescatarian? A pescatarian? Yeah, they only eat fish, and they don't expect to eat their fish with meat juices. I've never heard of one, to tell you the truth. Oh, my God. Well, can't believe that's going out. Uh, Tom, turn me to that table. Thank you. Sorry for interrupting. Are you pescatarian? I am. Can I borrow you for two seconds? Would you mind? <laughs> Thank you. Chappie, have you got two seconds? It's one of your customers. Really? Yeah. Let me explain something really important, because I'm not fucking around now. This lady is a pescatarian. Strictly fish. What I'm trying to explain, because you're not listening, is that her fish was cooked in there along with the beef. It's not a general practice. It's just a something you never do. It's the golden rule, but it's totally oblivious. Do you get sick on meat? Oh, very. I'm sorry. I'll make sure that's in a pan of its own, as it should be, and cook properly, OK? I appreciate My apologies. That. Thank you. It's cooked. And the same stuff that the meat's been cooked in. Oh! Oh, my and God. It's disgusting back there. Why is, oh, why is mayonnaise that color? I thought that was a jar of mustard. What's the date on this? So by 27th of February 2010. Expired three years ago. My God. What's that? How old is that? Raw beef and cooked beef. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. As I always say, everything you need to know about a chef is in his fridge. Shrimp. Just stuck there. Sat. Absolutely stinking. Oh, my God. Look at that. What in the fuck is that? There's a shrimp hanging down there. That's all mold. Unbelievable. Atlantic. The underlying problem with this restaurant. It's Melissa. Mm -hmm. It is. She has it in financial ruins. And why has she put it in financial ruins first? I feel like Lisa takes a lot of um, vacations. Vacations? A lot of vacations. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. If somebody doesn't come in and confront Lisa, the restaurant's going to go under. Can I start you with something to drink? Um, what the fuck's this? That's the menu. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's massive. It is. Wow. These things are dirty. Um, is there any chance I could have a clean menu? Absolutely. Thank you, Diane. Mm. Guys, I need a clean menu, like, 10 minutes ago, because you won't even look at this menu. What? Dirty. Are you kidding me? You can feel it. There's not a thing it on is. it. It's filthy. Where? She's not here consistently enough to see how stuff runs anymore. There you go. And I think she's in for a rude awakening. This is not even fun. Thanks, Danny. Oh, that's been wiped. Yes. Okay, let's start with. Uh, is this a typo? Buffalo chicken skins? It's fried chicken with buffalo sauce on top. I know, I get that, skins. but then you've got buffalo chicken skins again. Oh, yes, that is a typo. <laughs> uh, did you know that was on there? Yes. Lisa did notice right after they were printed and just never fixed. I suppose for, obviously, locals that are slightly double vision. <laughs> OK, um, let's go for the uh, Bob's Big Boy platter. OK. Um, anything you'd recommend, Danny? Um, the lobster roll. I'll taste it, yeah. OK. I've got to go for the chowder. OK, perfect. Thanks, Danny. You're welcome. There you go, Mark. Chef, ordering in. OK, all right. All right. I didn't have the formal training, but I like to think that I can hold my own. Whoa, too much. Oof. 
plates are filthy dirty. I mean, literally caked in dust. Jessica? Yes? Darling, when was the last time these plates were taken down and cleaned? Um, when did we open? Eight years ago. Yes. You've never taken them down since you've been here. I don't believe so. Wow. My God. Lisa, he's up against the window pulling all the knickknacks down that were all, like, nasty and dusty. He's wiping them all, like, with his hands right now. Inchy's thick. Inchy's thick. Damn, he's observant. <laughs> yes. What is up? Thank you. This is a big buoy. Wow. And it comes with fries and onion rings. Bloody hell. It just cascades off the plate. What's that? A scallop, a small one. That's a scallop. Yes. How rubbery that is. I know. Honestly. They were sent back earlier the same because they were I too mean... chewy and tough. Wow. It's disgusting. Uh, yeah. It's just dumped on here. Do they season anything? No. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'll bypass that, darling. OK. Otherwise, I'll need a bypass. OK. That was a big boy disappointment, let me tell you. Mark, the fries are soggy, and he said he will bypass, because if not, he's going to need a bypass. Close. Well, let's keep in mind, he comes from a place where they think scones are delicious. 